This is recovery series D. We're talking about our adductors and abductors. They're important because they dictate internal, external rotation. If you were to think about your body and your legs, you know, anything that would come into the middle would be adduction. Anything that goes away from the middle is abduction. And we'll talk a bit about both of them a little bit more when we're going into the, the movement analysis and performance test. Gear that you're gonna need for this, we've got our little 12 inch rumble roller. Again, you can use longer, but this is a great travel size. You're gonna need a lacrosse ball and then also a long resistance band that I already have anchored up. We've got three exercises in this. You've got two different smashes and one really long banded distraction. When I say really long, it's got a, a, a couple of parts to it and you're gonna love it. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is the rumble roller and we're gonna do our adductor smash. So I start by putting this off to the side, facing with me, running parallel, and I'm gonna put my hip at 90 degrees, my, my knee at 90 degrees. I'm gonna lift my hip up and really put some pressure as I drive my knee out. Also while I'm doing this, after a couple of passes, I'm gonna go through flexion and extension. So I can do a couple of passes with my legs straight. I can also find the spot that's really sensitive and floss it just like we have on some of the other smashes. But again, remember you're doing this for about two minutes minimum on each side. The next exercise we're gonna do, the next smash, is the hip pocket smash. So on the lateral side here, glute med, right above the ilium, I'm putting this into my hip, like the hip pocket. Now, the nice thing about these is like, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I've put it in the right spot, but I'm not really feeling anything. So typically, I feel more, more posterior, like right above my glutes, and that's kind of where I'm at. So I'll just sit on this for like 30 seconds, and then as the pain starts to decrease, I start to oscillate it, move it around in a little mini circle a little bit more, and I'm just working those junky areas, but again, two minutes on each side. And those are the smashes.